Welcome to today's Nighthawk Media GIMP tutorial. Today's GIMP tutorial is about making startup images in GIMP. So I'm just going to start my screen recorder. So last uh, s tutorial I made about this, it was about, um, you know, I just showed you where, where to um, change the image. I'm going to show you, well, making my new startup images. So go to computer, C drive, Program files, find GIMP, share, GIMP, 2.0, and images. Now, there's three images there. GIMP Splash, which is the one we'll be changing. But there's also GIMP Logo and Wilbur. Wilbur is the bigger one, so if you wanted to use one of those images, I would recommend that one. And But both of them are PNG images, which means they can handle transparency. Alright, so let's right mouse click GIMP Splash and edit with GIMP. I found out watching a GIMP tutorial, um, a GIMP tutorial on YouTube that you can even change the size of it. So this, I changed the size of this one. Yeah, this one's been modif This one had layers. I'll look through my YouTube folder for a sec. Uh, stop images. Is there a GIMP file there? That doesn't look right. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in with white. It's going to be a white theme. I'm going to get my new brushes. I know what? My website's black. I'm going to use black. Now, I'm going to get my a blue brush, the Nile blue brush, and find the right one. Uh, it's here somewhere. Here, here we go. This one here. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, a bit smaller. Yep. And I'm gonna use a white. Change the style. Uh, that'll do. And this one's gonna be white. Uh, maybe not that one. This one. Yeah, that'll do. Bring it up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna find my logo. Uh, it'd be in. Where would it be? Oh, I'll just use this one. I was trying to find one that can handle transparency. Yep, here we go. I'm gonna get my scale tool and bring it. Oh, hang on. Make sure this chain's not broken so I can handle the right. It's the right size. So I'm going to select by white with my selection by path tool, select a by color tool, and I'm going to, oh I hit the wrong button, grow by three, oh that'll do, and cut. So now I've got transparency. Like if that a bit of a bevel and boss. If you guys have the layer effects script for this week, um, you can use that now. Uh, I'm just going to do my standard settings, I guess. And back go. Apply a layer mask on all. Might turn the opacity down on that one. suppose I'll have to do. Alright, next thing you need to do, I'm going to put in my text. So I'm just going to say Nighthawk. I'm going to modify with the right text and the same and the colours and everything. 
Now I've downloaded my font type and off of the font.com and mine's called Birth of a Hero. It's a really good font. One of my favourites. Now the next thing you need to do, I'm going to alpha to select it. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to paint on the colours. Colours that I want. And go select none. I'm going to zoom out to 50%. Let's go 100%. That looks kind of good. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the Wilbur image. So just like before, I'm going to go to C drive, computer, C drive. I'm going to go to the GIF folder again. I might get the small, get the smaller one. Oh, what the heck, Wilbur? Wilbur is the bigger one. I'm just going to scale it down with your scale tool. And yeah, so that is the gift the tour for today. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Nighthawk Media and well stay tuned.